this right here is the exact spot you want to kick it to make sure that it lands between the 10 and 11 yard marker every single time. You can definitely perfect this to a point where it's going to be 100% that you're going to get it every single time. As you can see there, that time it lands right around the 11 yard line, and that's just perfect. <laughs> If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Matt Money Shot, sniffing out the college football cheese as always. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys a brand new onside kick glitch that I didn't create. I don't spend a lot of time going into uh, special teams and trying to glitch out the, the kickoffs and stuff like that. Somebody found this and it's been going around the community, so I figured I might as well give it to my community because if you watch my channel, you watch me to have the best chance at winning. So obviously, uh, you know, having something like this in your arsenal is definitely important. But I do want to say this is not something typically stuff like this. I think is a little too cheesy i try not to show uh if, it, if i feel like it gives too big of an advantage because i don't want to necessarily spread this around the community to the point where uh, people are running this all the time because it'll be really annoying for online game but i do think it's important to have this in your arsenal for several reasons number one you might run into somebody that's doing this to you in that scenario you're definitely going to want to do it back to them as much as you can right uh, another scenario is say you're down late in the game and you have to do an onside kick. Say there's only 13 seconds left or something like that and you're down a field goal. In that scenario, it's helpful to know how to do the best onside kick in the game. The only onside kick in the game that works pretty much every single time. So I'm going to show you guys that. And other than that, like I said, if you're playing against a computer, by all means, do it all game. Because we all know the computer likes to cheat. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how to do this. You just switch over to either one of the onside kicks. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, anytime uh, a glitch like this comes out, if you guys want me to just to make you guys aware of it, because at the end of the day, I also think this helps EA to know that this is an issue and it needs to be addressed. Please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit like button. Let me know in the comment section. And if you need more help or more money plays, you can download any of my eBooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top end comment. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select onside kick. It doesn't matter. The diagram is the same with either one, whether it's X or A. We're going to pick X though just to be totally transparent then on the other side we're just going to pick base onside there aren't a lot of options you only really have return middle uh and then you know onside for for the other side you don't have hands team and stuff like that like you might have uh in, in college for, or in pro football and madden and stuff like that so let's pick a base onside then as far as the kick glitch itself the reason that i'm using this specific team is not because um you know i, I typically use penn state and that's because i'm a quasi penn state fan based on the fact that the local team um, but yeah, I'm not using them because Penn State has a left footed kicker and this only works with right footed kickers. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Uh, but for whatever reason, this only works if your kicker is kicking in this direction on the field. So if you're unlucky enough that if your favorite team that you use uh, kicks has a left foot kicker and kicks the ball the other way and the, the field will be flipped, this will not work. But I'll show you guys that in a minute. So either way, this is super easy. The easiest thing about this to do is the direction. All you have to do is hit your left stick to the right all the way until it stops, which is super simple. Like I say, you're just basically holding it all the way to the right. Then you're going to hit low kick, which is going to be LB or L1, and your angle is going to look like that. After that, the hardest part is probably the kick meter itself, where you have to land. You have to land all the way in the left corner of the red. So I don't know if it's going to work on the first try because, like I said, that's probably the biggest part. And then the second biggest part is how much power you put into it. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try to land all the way in the red. And then right there, too much power. I don't want to go that high in the green. But you can see we get 10 yards past. Now, this is something I almost feel like I typically go tap and tap when it comes to these things. But in this particular uh, instance, I feel like it would almost be better to have the other one, the tap and hold. Because I feel like the way that the kick meter fills up so quickly, it might be easier if you use this kicking stop. So we're going to try this just for this video, just once or twice. But like I said, hold the right stick all the way to the left until it stops you. Like I said, it's real simple. I can go back to normal. Like I said, it starts at about here. This is with me at, without me touching the controller. We're just going to hold it all the way to the right. Hit LBL1, and then, like I said, it's really all about. I, I hit the, the accuracy part of the meter pretty well, but I didn't hit the power very well. So we're gonna go. We're gonna hold it there. Like I said, I'm still going too hard, too hard on the kick. But you can see the area of the field. If it if it lands shorter, you're gonna see how easy this is to do. And then you can see my man almost took it all the way to the other side. I'm not too used to the actual um, to that type of kicking style. So we're just gonna go ahead. We're gonna put it back. I just gotta be a little bit more Johnny on the spot. So the easiest part is definitely just holding the stick all the way to the right and then hitting LBL1. The hard part is landing all the way in the corner on the red marker, on the, uh, the, the meter going back and forth, and not filling up the kick meter too much, not filling up the power meter too much. 
So we're gonna go ahead and we'll try it again, like I said, right around there, I think that's probably the best spot. As you can see, it goes about 10 yards and we pick it up very easily. So if you wanna practice this and get that green meter a little bit shorter, as you can see right here, every time I kick it too far, as we get the ball back that time, even though I did kick it too far, it still went to about 12 to 13 yards. Let's go and just watch the replay there. So you can see here, the ball, I don't want the ball going there. I want it to only go 10 yards. If it only goes 10 yards, which would be around, where are we at here? Which would be around here. You can see how this guy, 59, is going to get it every single time. Yeah, I mean, he's going to be closer. If I can get it to die around 10, 11 yards, you can see how I'm just going to be, he's going to be closer than anybody on the recovery team. And this is going to be how you get like 100% accuracy every single time. So I'm going to do it one more time, but I want to make sure I do it in order. I don't want to hit LBL1 before I move the stick because I don't know if that's going to change anything. So like I said, just hold the left stick all the way to the right, then hit LBL1. Then, like I said, this is where the skill issue comes in. <laughs> as you can see right there, we're not quite getting the, the best kick, but as you can see, it landed at the 11. Wasn't 59 it got at that time, though. It was actually 26. So I'm still not necessarily happy with it. Like I said, you can definitely perfect this to a point where it's going to be 100% that you're going to get it every single time. As you can see there, that time it lands right around the 11-yard line, and that's just perfect because we're going to pick that up every single time. we got two return men that are going to pick that up before anybody on the, on the recovery side. Now, I'm not saying that this is something that you can get every single time, but you definitely can get this at a very high clip. Which is why, like I'm saying, you definitely want to have this in your arsenal right there. That's perfect. You know what I mean? As he picks up that die right to 10. The easiest way to combat this would definitely be using um, the, the inline guy here. I'll point a little arrow because I don't know who that is. But that guy closest to where the ball lands, just use your him and basically run inside. It shouldn't be too difficult to stop this, if I'm being honest. Like I said, this is probably most reliable against the computer as you can just use that guy right there and typically just take that angle. But you can see how consistent it is. So I'm gonna stop talking real quick just so we can nail this as I really wanna show where the green bar needs to be to get the die at the 11. And you can see right there, that was the perfect uh, spot. So you can see right there where the green is on this green arrow. This right here is the exact spot you want to kick it to make sure that it lands between the 10 and 11 yard marker every single time. Now, if this isn't working for you, there's one of two reasons why. It's either a skill issue where you're just not doing it right, or you might be using a left-footed kicker, which is something that I tried to mention at the beginning of the video. You're going to see how if I do the exact same setup, although this time since the field is flipped, I'm going to have to hold this stick all the way to the left before I hit L1 or LB. And you'll see I, it looks like it's the same, but the trajectory is not going to be the same. So I'm going to go ahead and do the corner once again you're gonna see i got the kick meter perfect but you can see it goes it just doesn't take the same angle it doesn't go towards the open area of the field now i'll go ahead and i'll try to do it to the other side to the other red kicking spot to see if that makes a difference you can see it's the exact same thing it curls inside every single time which is why this does not work if you're using a left footed kicker so just remember that if you want this to work it only works if you're kicking on the other side of the field if you're using a right footed kicker otherwise it's a skill issue and it has nothing to do with the setup that i showed you so i'm gonna end the video there but if you guys want to see more college football 25 defense tips that are borderline cheat codes i made a video about that just yesterday so just click the links on the screen and until next time Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.